This is Dror Moshe Kasuto. Shalom Aleichem. We're going to continue with this amazing story on Adam and Eve um, revealing to us the secrets um, of, of, uh, of, our, of our life purpose, of our life meanings, to see how really we should work on ourselves and to fix ourselves um, based on the biblical stories. Um, message of the Creator to us all. So after they ate, after Eve ate and gave Adam to eat his, eat as well with her, so they their eyes been opened and we said their eyes been opened in in a silly way. Their eyes been opened to open to recognize their defaults. Like they start being uh, judgmental about themselves and that's a wrong way of thinking and they saw that they were naked undressed covered themselves with leaves of fig tree and made belts for themselves for modesty only because they sinned they felt that embarrassment the shame is a result of a crime of a mistake of something wrong and they heard the voice of heaven, the voice of the Creator walks with them in the garden, in the spirit of the day, in the day. And the man and his wife were hiding in the tree. You see that the man was hiding first and his wife, she went after him. In many, many situations in life, the man has the power and to lead and he might mislead his followers and every person every man should remember that when you're falling you're dragging people to fall with you also when you're climbing and you're achieving things you're taking people with you as well so Hashem the Creator called the man and he asked him Ayeka Ayeka means where you are where you are means also where are you standing? What's your level? Vayomer, so Adam is answering. Et kolcha shamati bagan vayira. I heard your voice in the garden and I was scared, I was afraid. Ki eroma nochi Because I'm naked and that's, therefore I'm hiding. Vayomer, so Hashem, the Creator, is asking him. Mi higid lecha ki eromata. Who told you that you're naked? Like, how you got so wise? Were you eating from that tree that I commanded you not to eat from? So the man is saying, blaming. The woman, the wife that you gave me to stand by me, she gave me to eat from the fruit and I ate. But when he's saying in the holy language of Hebrew, um, the ancient language, when you say the word va'ochel, you mean two different times. Also va'ochel means I was eating, like achalti, I ate from it. And also va'ochel can be interpreted as in the future I'm going to eat more from it. I'm planning to eat some more from it. So that's the answer to that question that the Creator asked Adam, where are you holding? So Adam, even though that he was blaming, and even though that he was not dealing with his side in the sin, and he was trying to put the guilt on Eve, and even also on Hashem himself to tell him, listen, you, it's you, you did it, you gave her to me, and she made me fail, and I, but now he's being truthful and admitting the truth, to say, not only that I ate, also I enjoyed the sin so badly that I will fall to eat from it again in the future. Like he is being honest with Hashem and telling him that he is not holding in a, in a pure place, in a clean place of tshuva. I understand I made something wrong and I want to fix it. He said, no, I failed, 
and I've been electrified. I'm different now. I'm, I'm not good. I'm not, I'm, I'm standing in that place that I must eat some more. So Hashem, He gets the answer from Adam and moves to talk to the woman, to Eve, and tells her, Mazot Asit, what have you done? Vatomer Aisha, so like she saw, that's the method, that's the way. He blamed him, so Hashem asks him, him, Adam, what have you done? Immediately he put the guilt on me. I'm just going to roll the ball to the next place. Vatomer Aisha, Hanachashi Siani Vauchal, the snake, he attempted me, Vauchel, and I ate from it. There are many, many explanations, and there's not enough time in this world, in this lifetime, to explain everything that we know about every word and every verse, because it's so deep. But she is also saying, Va'ochel, means I will eat some more. Also, it's written, Hanachashi Si'ani, that she's saying that the snake also like attempted her to eat, but also when she says, his Si'ani, it's like the word Hisi'ani in the holy language of Hebrew, ancient Hebrew, I must say every time, um, holds a certain interpretation on marriage as well. Like the snake marry her in a way. It means that they became related in a way. The, all the children of Adam and Eve from since that day and on means all their children were infected by the impurity, by the contamination of the snake from that day and on. He planted his seed um, in human race and, um, and we're dragging those scars with us along the way until today. So Hashem is telling the snake because you've done that, why is not asking him, what have you done? Because in the creation, there is a big, huge difference between humans to the rest of the species. Um, only people are able to do tshuva and to fix. All the rest of the animals on earth are running by um, a certain spirit that lives inside of them, but they don't have the power of free choice. They're not choosing between good and bad. They're just being moved by their lusts, their fears, or their goodwill, or whatever, but they don't have the, 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 op the options of choosing between good and bad. They're just playing their role in life, who they are, is who they are. But we, in every situation, standing in front of an opportunity to choose between good and bad, and, um, and therefore we need to be judged on our actions because we have responsibility on those choices that we make. But the snake, he literally just did what he did, and it brought him to that place of being damned, and he'd been cursed for that. So Hashem told the snake, because you've done that, ki asit azot, arur ata mikol abema, you're going to be cursed, damned from all the rest of the animals, umikol chayat asadeh, from all cattle and all animals of the field, al gechon chatelech, you'll walk on, on your, on your uh, throat, on your chest, ve'afar tochal kol yemechayecha, and you'll eat earth for the rest of your life. There are a few interpretations on that, um, first of all, um, that he eats from the earth means that he eats only animals that are walking on the ground. Second one is saying that the snake does not feel the taste of the food, just he feels taste of earth in everything he eats. Ve'eva ashit bencha uven aisha. And I'll put hatred between you and the women, uven zaracha, uven zara, and between your children, your seed, the rest of the snakes, to her children, to the ch children of human race. 
הוא ישופך ראש, they will try to break your head all the time, ואתה תשופנו עקב, and you will try to bite their heels for the rest of your life. אלא אישה אמר, to the woman, השם, the creator said, הרבה הרבה עצבונך, you'll be in great sorrow, והרונך, and also your pregnancy will be um, with a lot of labor and sorrow and pain, like we know that horrible, horrific pain that no man can, can imagine and, and, and understand, the greatest risk and, and pain and danger that every woman uh, goes through in, in labor. Be'etzev tel dibanim, you'll give birth to your children in sorrow and in pain. Ve'el ishech tshukatech, and you will always have desire for your husband. Ve'hu yimshol bach, but he will control you. The woman, she never argued on that judgment, and she went with it in humility, and she accepted the judgment, and therefore she were, was able to complete her mission on earth already more than 500 years ago. And women been humbled by um, the world um, leadership of men, and, and, um, and they paid their debt Uh, to society, to heaven, on their sin already 500 years ago. And therefore, women today are much more humble and much more honest and much more sincere and much more sensitive and able to sense uh, good out of bad and to feel the godly will of heaven from us. And therefore, men should humble themselves and listen to their wives Like we see that already Hashem in the future will learn about Abraham and Sarah, that Hashem is saying to Abraham, everything that Sarah, your wife, will tell you, you need to listen to her voice, you need to listen to her intention. There is something deeper in women than in men in that aspect that they can sense more about certain topics and men should learn how to listen to them and to their sensitivity. ולאדם אמר, and to the man, Hashem said, כי שמעת לכל אשתך, because that you followed your wife's advice, against my advice, ותאכל מן העץ אשר ציוויתיך, and you ate from the tree that I told you, לאמור, לא תאכל ממנו, that I told you to tell her not to eat from it, ארורה האדמה בעבורך, the earth, the ground will be cursed for you. בעיצבון תאכלנה כל ימי חייך, you'll be in great sorrow and pain and difficulty, difficulties will be um, plenty for you when you'll try to harvest and to plant and whatever, that we know how hard it is to make a living. בעיצבון תאכלנה כל ימי חייך for the rest of your life, וקוץ ודרדר תצמיח לך, thorns will grow from the ground even if you're planting good things to, to eat. ואכלת את עשב השדה, and you will eat the grass of the field. You see, again, the commandment still is that man and all humans supposed to eat only vegetables and fruits and not meat at all. בזעת הפחה תאכל לחם, you're gonna sweat for your bread. עד שובך אל האדמה, כי ממנה לוקחת. Until you'll come back to the ground that you've been took out from, means till last day, On, on earth. כי עפר אתה ואל עפר תשוב, because you have a physical aspect of your creation, that's your body that made out of earth, and you'll come back to earth. Means that until that moment, the Adam was not supposed to die, was not supposed to be buried, was not supposed to, 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 to become earth again. He was supposed to rise with his body and to go straight back to heaven, but now he'd been cursed with that horrible curse of death. ויקרא האדם שם אשתו חווה, and then you see all that moment, all that sin, all that situation is the next part of the first one that we saw that Adam is standing and calling all the animals in names and then he realized, oh, I don't have a wife and then he feels sorrow because of that and Hashem puts him to sleep. And then all this situation happens while he is asleep. Hashem is dividing him from his feminine side and he, he becomes 
out of his sadness, out of his lack of understanding of how the Creator made him in the best way, and he had complaints on it, he had his own desires, and he was not satisfied with Hashem's creation, so Hashem gave him what he wanted, and what that he wanted is, unfortunately, a lot of troubles to us all until today. And then he wakes up and opens his eyes and calling the feminine side of him, his wife, Chava, Eve. Ki hi haita em kol chai, because from that day and on she is the mother of all living um, human race, means people. And God made leather cloaks to the man and to his wife, and dressed them and sent them. In the future, we'll see outside of the Garden of Eden. Thank you very much, and may the Creator help us all to come to the right conclusions and to fix ourselves as soon as possible. Amen. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your requests should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.